Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna make a grilled artichoke with a roasted pepper sauce for dipping. I just love grilled artichokes. I go to restaurants, I order them all the time. So I'm gonna show you a stovetop method to get that roasted artichoke flavor out of your kitchen. The ingredients you need are artichokes, garlic, celery salt, pepper, roasted peppers, mayonnaise, and olive oil. You have to always pre-cook an artichoke. So I always chop the ends off, but I leave a lot of the stem because that's a very good bite. So that I have more room in the pot, I cut off about half an inch of those leaves. If you have kids in the family, they're gonna like this part. They're gonna want you to cut these off because they can poke you. <laughs> you don't want any bleeders. Ow, <laughs> just like that. Oh man, oh no, that's lipstick, we're good. <laughs> put it in a really big pot. The water comes up to only about half their size and you're gonna put a lid on it and then you're gonna put it on the stove for 45 minutes and you're gonna let it boil. You're gonna wanna flip it midway so none of them get waterlogged. After they're done, let them cool and then you're gonna cut them in half and aim for the center of that stem. We're also gonna dig out the flower part. That's the thistle. And it doesn't taste very good. It kinda of tastes like the texture of a cat's tongue. And keep digging it out until you get to some of those tender leaves, cause those are edible. Like this one. Perfect. Turn your pan on high and put three tablespoons of olive oil in it. I'm gonna brown their backs first. Sprinkle the backs with the celery salt generously. It's gonna take probably one teaspoon for the whole batch. That pan is hot. And then sprinkle the top of them with the celery salt. Crack that pepper. One, two, three. I'm not a spice girl. I'm not gonna go overboard with the pepper. Now we're gonna slice our garlic. I've got about, I don't know, 10 cloves of garlic that are gonna go in this recipe. I give it a rough chop. I don't wanna get my fingers too close to that knife. So I use a fork when I chop garlic. That garlic's pretty slippery. Because you've already pre-cooked your artichokes, all you really care about is them getting brown on the sides and on the edges. That gives them a really special flavor. So now I'm gonna evenly sprinkle that garlic all over those artichokes. And some are gonna make it to the bottom of that pan. If your pan appears to be a little dry, let's add some more olive oil. Those leaves, are gonna pick up the infusion of this olive oil with that garlic and it's gonna be fantastic tasting. Check it for brownness. Now that can go a little longer. Mix it around a little bit. And now since the garlic's in there, I don't want it to burn because if it's too brown, it doesn't taste very good. So down to medium it goes Why I make my dip. We gotta cut up our little red peppers to little pieces. So that's the equivalent, about one full red pepper which is half the jar. Roasting red peppers is what you want for this recipe, and it is the bomb. It is so good. The deal is though, hey man, I don't have time to roast these red peppers. It takes a lot of babysitting, and it's a pain to get all those little burnt skins off of those peppers. Mazetta's taken that work out for me, and I appreciate their effort. You're gonna go on a 50-50 proportion for this dip. So I'm gonna put about that same quantity of mayonnaise in this bowl. That's about one half a cup. Those peppers smell great. And then you're gonna mix it up really good. Taste test. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> These artichokes are sizzling hot. They need a little flip. Oh yeah, that's the color. We got it, that's it. A little more olive oil because I don't want the tops to dry out. Oh wow, these look great. Yum, that is perfect. This is gonna be an amazing appetizer. Drizzle, 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 drool. Boy, we're having a good time in cooking school. <laughs> now it's time to try it. Oh, yum. Into the dippity do. Oh. That's a winner. You taste that garlic, the olive oil, and those red peppers. This is one of my favorite appetizers at a restaurant. And now, this is how you can make it at home at a fraction of the price. Subscribe to my channel, and let's keep making great things in the kitchen. <laughs>